Hey guys, me Liberty Lady Liz here. Thanks for 49 subscribers. Please give me to 1k subscribers. Um, today I have something to tell you that is truthful. Not that I haven't told you the truth in the past, but about my grandparents. And yeah. But first, I want to say I forgot to show you two another sock and stuffer that I got. I got these from my mother. I got these Harry Potter um, page clips because I like to read a lot, like especially history books. And I've read all the Harry Potter series, so I got these. It's Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Draco Malfoy. And then I got these two Barnes & Noble um, bookmarks. But the thing I wanted to um, tell you guys is that... Um, okay, so... I might be going down to South Carolina for February break because up in Massachusetts here we get February break, winter break, well everybody gets winter break, but February break and April break, but, and obviously summer break, but you know, three main breaks during my school year up here in Massachusetts are winter break for like holidays, February break and then winter break. February break is like in like the third, sec, third to last week of February, like a couple weeks before my birthday and my birthday and like you know a couple weeks before my birthday so i go down there i haven't been like there in like three years well this river a little bit three years but i haven't been down there in like three years because of covid approximately three years because of covid i went there in february 2020 right before the my 13th birthday and right before the pandemic like started and got like really bad started 19 2019 but it didn't get bad till 2020 so i got there right before it got bad and i was lucky but the reason why i go down there is because my my grandparents live up here when it's um at the the middle of may through the middle of january and then the middle of january through the middle of may they go back down there every year they go down there because they don't like the weather up here and they go up here when it's getting closer to summertime down there or here because it's warmer down there it's like hotter down there so they like to spend their summers up here but anyway i'm don't be surprised if i tell you guys i'm going to south carolina if i pat if i do a packing video get ready with me video like i did for my road trip to vermont except instead of driving you can drive from here but it'll take like 16 hours or 18 hours or whatever um Instead of driving there, I'm going to be flying there, so don't be surprised if I say I'm going down there. The reason why I go down there is because my my younger cousins and my uncles, they live down there. And, um, so, they live in the Carolinas. Well, all my all my cousins now live in North Carolina. One used to live in South Carolina. But anyway, my grandparents have a place, and I'm not going to tell you where, like, what, like, what their address is, because I don't even, I don't even know their South Carolina address, but they have... Uh, have you guys ever heard of Polly's Island? They have a condo in Polly's Island, South Carolina. So yeah, so that's why I go down there and I stay at their condo down there. It's really nice. It's smaller than their house up here, but it's really nice. And they live on the fifth floor, and that's why I like to go down and visit them. So I just wanted, to, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you don't, if you, um, if I post a video, we have to still look into the airport prices. But if I go, I'm gonna go from. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be there for five days from Monday to Friday. But Friday I'll fly back and Monday I'll fly down there. But don't be surprised if I, um, if I post a video saying I'm going to South Carolina because if I do, don't be surprised. Don't don't get all surprised if I say I'm going to South Carolina. It's not definite yet, but we're thinking about it. It's like a, it's been like been in transition ever since I was in the fifth grade. But anyway. I just want to tell you guys that um, don't be alarmed if you see like a packing video, like pack with me for South Carolina, get ready with me, stuff like that, like I did for my Vermont video in the summer. Don't be surprised if you see a video saying that I'm going to South Carolina because um, I just want to tell you guys ahead of so if you guys see a video, you're like, oh, Liz is going to South Carolina to visit her grandparents. And that's the whole that's the whole purpose of this video is I didn't I I. I didn't want to tell you guys so soon, but since it's January and it's like a little over a month bef um, before our February break up here, I, I just would like to tell you guys so you guys know in advance that 
it's gonna happen it might happen and it probably most likely will happen but I don't we still don't know yet um yeah but so comment down below if you guys live there, if any of my fans live in South Carolina, or comment down below if you don't live in South Carolina, have you ever been to South Carolina, the state of South Carolina? It's so beautiful. South Carolina and North Carolina, they're both beautiful, but South Carolina is better because there's more things to do. North Carolina is just eh. But North Carolina, where my cousins live now. I've been to North Carolina twice and South Carolina several times. Um, but yes. Um, I fly from Boston into Charleston. But, yeah. Um, and I usually take JetBlue when I go down there, but... And I take JetBlue coming back up here. But, um... Don't be surprised if you're like, Oh, we're just going to South Carolina. Just wanted to give you guys a warning that I might be, like, telling you guys I'm going there. And if I do go there, I'm gonna try and vlog. I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog, because most of the time I'll be with my grandparents and stuff like that. And, you know... It just is what it is. Sorry, this is my portable charger thing. Um, but, you know, like, just don't... I don't want you guys to, like, be, like... I'm just telling you, sorry, I would keep repeating myself. I'm just, like, trying to, like, make you guys, like, know that, like... I'm not trying to alarm you, but I'm just telling you guys... The reason why I'm telling you guys this, not that you guys need to know, but in this case, you, I feel like I need to be honest with you... Guys, and you guys are my fans, you guys are my subscribers, and I feel like I need to let you guys know that I'm gonna, you know, I might be going down there. But, um, if you ever go to South Carolina, there's a lot of things to do. You should go to Myrtle Beach, definitely. Go to Merle's Inlet. Merle's Inlet has this good, um, restaurant called Drunken Jack's. It's a bar and a restaurant. Well, I don't do the bar because I'm not 21 yet. But, um, anyways, so... Yeah, if they have, Drunken Jacks has statues of pirates inside the restaurant and they have one outside. And what else they have is they have, when you sit down, instead of like, you know how up here, like in the north, or in New England, or like any typical sit down restaurant anywhere in the country, they sit, you sit down and they give you bread. Well, at this restaurant, you sit down and instead of giving you rolls, they give you hush puppies. Hush puppies are like, I don't know how to explain them. They're like fried cornmeal. And they're so good. Um, I think they're fried. I believe they're fried cornmeal. I could be wrong though. If you guys live down south, if you guys, you guys can tell me I'm wrong. You guys know what they're made out of. If they're not made out of cornmeal, I just may be thinking that. Put it in the comments because I could be wrong, but I think they're cornmeal. But, you know, they're so good. And they're like a Dunkin' Donuts munch cake, except better because they're fried. Wait, are donuts? No. Donuts are fried, but they can be baked, too. I don't know. But, anyways. Um, and they also have seafood, and, you know, it's really good. I want to go back there because I'll, I want to go there because the last time I went there, I was, like, three, four, or five. No, I was, like, four, three, four, or five, and I was really scared of um, the pirate statues, and I got really scared. Like, I, I couldn't move because I... Every time I moved, I felt like there was a statue, like a pirate statue, always oh, right behind me, and I got, like, so scared. But, um, yeah, so, well, but yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys that, like, um, I'm doing, I love going here, and, like, it's, like, one of my favorite states to visit, so, you know. And, you know, not that I'm not going to visit other states for my second time in my life at all, but there's still some states I want to go to, like California, Arizona, New York. But, um, I, comment down below if you guys live in South Carolina or if you've been to South Carolina, because I want to know how many of you fans, how many of my fans, you guys my fans, aka subscribers, how many of you guys live in South Carolina and how many guys don't live there like me, live in another state, but been there. Comment down below, comment down below if you live there, comment down below if you've been there. Or if you live there, give me some recommendations of like fun things to do. Um, 
And I also like to go to the Charleston. The last time I went to the Charleston Aquarium, I believe I was I was seven. And my grandparents used to have the condo and the Charleston house down there, but now they just have the condo. And the Charleston house was so nice. They had like, they had like an upstairs. So when you walked in, you walked into the kitchen and the dining room. Or no, well the dining room was off of another thing. And then they have a patio with a table. And, it, and we used to like play bingo and me, my cousins and my grandparents and my uncles and I and my parents and I, we would all play like um, bingo, number bingo and play games. Oh, oh my goodness, it was so fun. And then there used to be this field like a couple blocks away from where they lived in Charleston. And we used to go and um, we used to go down, my cousins and I, my cousins, my grandfather and I, we would all go and um, like run and like do gymnastics, like do round offs and stuff and do cartwheels and gymnastics. It was so fun. And then, um, yeah. And I also went there for my eighth Christmas. But I just wanted to say like, I'm trying to get you guys prepared. So if I do go to South Carolina, you're like, oh, Liz is going. But I, if I do go to South Carolina, I can't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog, but if I don't, I'm going to make a vlog of, like, pictures of, like, what I was there, and I'm going to, like, write in captions, like, what I did. Like, what the, you know, what the blank things, the blank pages, slides, um, but, you know, either way, you guys be up, you guys will be updated of what I'm doing on my trip. But, yeah, to finish the video with Charleston... Charleston's is, Charleston is not a town. Charleston is a city in South Carolina. It's not the capital. Columbia is the capital of South Carolina, where the University of South Carolina is, where one of my mom's brothers, where one of my uncles, to my second oldest cousin after me, Braylon, who was just up here, like, almost a week ago. Yesterday will have been a week ago. Her, Braylon's father, my uncle Craig, he went to the University of South Carolina in Columbia. That's where the, the original building is. I've never been to Columbia. I've been to Charleston. I've been to Merrill's Inlet. I've been to Myrtle Beach. I've been to Polly's Island. But never to um, Columbia, which is the capital of South Carolina. And if you go to North Carolina, the capital of that is Raleigh. R-A-L-I-E-G-H. Alexa, how do you spell Raleigh? Okay, I spelled it right. And then, yeah. And then, in my grandparents' Charleston house, they had, a, like, a nice living room. They had a nice upstairs with, like, um, a couple bedrooms. And the bedrooms had... And then my grandparents had a bedroom, like, off the kitchen or something. Or, like, off the living room. The, all the bathrooms... All the bedrooms upstairs had bathrooms. And then there would be another upstairs near, like, um, the kitchen. And that's where my grandfather's office was. And there, I don't know if it's still there in South Carolina, but we used to go somewhere called the, um, there's a breakfast place called Eggs of Girl. You can get merchandise right across from where my grandparents' condo complex is in, um, South Carolina. And there's this place called Piggly Wiggly where you can, um, where people used to be able to shop and there was like a little statue of a pig, of a little mini pig at like on a farm or somewhere outside of the entrance. And then you could get like cups from there that had the palmetto tree. And it has something, the palmetto tree has something to do with the American Revolution, but this is right for another day. Of course I would know that. <laughs> and then, um, I mean, some battles of the American Revolution happened down there. Because the North the Carolinas were one of the original 13 colonies besides Massachusetts, obviously. And then um, you got shirts, and on the front, I had a purple shirt when I was like four, five, and six, and seven. Well, six, and four, five, six, or seven, or just four, five, and six. That said, um, on the front, it had the mascot, which was a pig's head, and it said Piggly Wiggly and White, but it was on a purple shirt with long sleeves. And on the back, it said, I dig the pig, which was their motto. But thanks for 49 subscribers. Please give me to 1K subscribers. I post videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.